Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can link data from an Excel spreadsheet and automatically create a flowchart and have it update. So the diagram template that I'm going to use is this one. It's already got the little Excel symbol on it. And you can see it there. I'm just going to click on that and create it. So initially, it just looks like a normal flowchart template you've got your flow chart shapes there you've got this area though and data graphics area open now if that does not open you can get that from view and this area get your shape data but what i'm going to do is go to the data tab and this symbol the excel symbol is going to allow me to get that excel file where the data is now, I've already used it, so it is in this recently used list, but I'll just browse for it so you can see. Browse, and then you need to navigate to your files to wherever they are. Minor in examples on Excel 25, and then flowchart data. That's the one I want. So I'll just open that, and it loads up. And I click on done. Then it will tick these ones off each in turn and then you can select done so what you get down the bottom here is the list of the fields that are in that excel file now if i just open that excel file for a second there's the source data very simple I've got a start and an end and then some figures for in this data column so there's only two columns items and data what you have to do is select the shape that you want. So I'm going to select the start shape. You don't drag it on because that would then be a shape in isolation. What you do is you select that and then you pick from here the, the Excel field that you want. So that's the start field. Now, data graphics is attached to this. So you've got the data there and you can see the actual date. That's the start date of this project. Now I'm going to home and I'm going to click on this automatic connector tool so that when I do the next one, which is going to be a process. So I've got process selected as I drag on phase one, it should automatically snap into position. Let go there. The information comes out and then I can just quickly drag these across, let them snap into position. Each one of these. You can see as I do this that there's a chain link appearing, um, which means that this is now linked. And if the source data in Excel changes, this will update on a refresh. I'll just get them all into position. And then we can change something in Excel and refresh it. So I'll push that down the bottom there. In fact, that doesn't want to be one of those. That wants to be the end, that one. So I'll bring that across underneath, a bit tight. Should have made a bit more space. We'll take this off by clicking the pointer tool. So I've now no longer got that. You can grab all of this data and move it up a little bit if you get a bit tight like I have. All the other features that you've got in Visio are available. On the design tab, you can pick different designs. You can go for a background color. I'll go for the old globe. Everybody likes that. You've got your borders and titles, which you can put on there. As long as you can see the data, so you've got to make sure you can see this data graphic stuff. You can actually edit that, but I'll go for that one. So now that's no good look because it's gone across the top of there. So I don't want that. If I go back to the um, background page, this one. Just get that off. That's where it sits. We'll come back to the um, front page, my page. We'll just leave it like that. I could put a text box there as the title if I want one. But what I want to do is I want to change this start date. So the start date is today, the 29th. I want to change that to something else like the 1st of August or something. So I need to go back into Excel. And I'm going to change that to the 1st of August 2025. So that's changed. It's on, it's automatically saving. So I'll just close, in fact, 
I'll just go back into Visio. So this is not picked that up, still on the first date. So I need to go up to the data tab and click on refresh. And then it should just refresh that and update. So you see it changed there, it's changed to the first and it's changed down here as well. So that is now refreshed. So by bringing the Excel data through the wizard into a Visio diagram, in this case, a flowchart diagram, the data as it changes in Excel will be reflected in this diagram. So it's a quick way to create a flowchart diagram as complicated as you want, really. But bear in mind, all the columns that you have in Excel will be trying to be as part of this shape data and shape data is on the data tab. Get there. This is where um, not shape data, data graphics is what I'm talking about. This is where it is, data graphics. What you'll get if you've got lot, a lot of columns in Excel, quite a few, you'll get little tick boxes here where you can tick them on or off in this data graphics area. So you don't have to have all the fields. So if, say, I was 10 columns here in Excel, I've only got these two ticks. So that's all I want to see in the data graphics area. And that's how it works. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can pull data from Excel into a Visio diagram and create a flow chart. You can do it for organizational charts as well if you want. As long as your data is suitable, it will work. And then you can automatically update it by clicking refresh and everything will be as current as your Excel spreadsheet is. So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.